Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. I'm going to start off by priming my face with my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Block Primer. And I'm just going to rub that all over my face in the place where I get most oily throughout the day, which would be my T-zone. And once I'm done rubbing that in, I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Primer Water in the scent So Chill Coconut, the Nicole Concilio collab with Smashbox. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Pen in the color Apricot. This color is actually too light for my face, but I didn't really think about it until I was too deep into the tutorial. So I went with it anyway, and then I end up blending it out with my Beauty Blender and trying to conceal those dark spots and my hyperpigmentation on my face. I'm not sure it really did much of anything, but... I tried. What a color corrector does is cancel out the dark spots or redness, whatever it might be on your face, for when you put your foundation down. And that's basically what I'm trying to do, even though the color was a little too light. I'm going in with my foundation. I'm mixing my Fenty Beauty in 420 and Maybelline Superstay in Warm Sun. And I'm basically just wiping that all over my face in no particular fashion just getting it on there and then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender until it I try to go for a seamless look but you know how it is with foundation it never looks seamless until it's completely all blended in and your makeup is done so I'm going to attempt to make it look seamless. And I'm mixing my Wet n Wild concealer and my Maybelline Fit Me concealers together to try to conceal those dark spots even more on my face and try and highlight the center part of my face for a smooth transition for my makeup. The reason I'm mixing the two is because the Fit Me is a little bit darker then the Wet n Wild, and the Wet n Wild's a little too light for what I'm actually going for. I don't want it to be too highlighted, because then I would just look crazy, and we don't want that. But you can see I'm just adding the lighter, a little bit of the lighter, into the darker shade. And then I'm just showing you that I'm going to set it with my Fit Me powder. After you blend all of that concealer in, you're going to want to set it with a setting powder. It could be loose or solid, however you feel comfortable doing so. Today, I'm going to go in with my Fit Me, which is a loose powder. And the color that I'm using that is going to be, I believe it's 30 medium deep. And I'm just going to put that all over my concealer once I have it all set in, which you will see me do here in a few seconds. But as you can see, I'm just trying to get all that concealer blended out. And I keep saying the word seamless, but I mean, that's what I'm going for, but it's not always exactly seamless, as you will see here in a minute as well. Um, once I put my powder on, I kind of have like a little mark for some reason. I think it's because I put the powder on the back of the Beauty Blender and it kind of made a little mark, which I couldn't get to go away. Once my makeup is all done and I spray my face, it's fine. You don't even see it anymore. So as you guys can see, I am now putting that loose setting powder on all the places that I concealed. And the reason you want to do that is because if you do not, then if you have any creases or lines, then they will show through. And then you'll have basically cracks all over your face and it will completely ruin your makeup look. So we don't want that either. So right here, you can see I just put that down and it made a little bit of an odd crease on my face. See that? It's a little bit lighter off to the right side. And I'm trying to blend it out, but it's not happening. So now I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color tan. And um, basically wiping away all that powder that I put down after I concealed on my face. And when you put powder down like that, it's called baking. And I basically just wanted to get that off my face so it wasn't just sitting there. Otherwise, it would look super cakey. And now as I'm doing that, I'm about to notice that I have that weird crease line on my face and realize that there's nothing that I can do about it. Wonderful. So now I'm basically going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Tan and bring some color and warmth back into my face. I'm going over my eyes to try to set them so they're ready for my eyeshadow. And then I'm basically going around my whole the rest of my face to try to kind of bronze it up 
and bring some of, like I said, some of that color back into my face so I don't look so washed out. Because that's basically what you're doing when you put foundation on. You're just basically giving yourself a clean platform. Now I'm going into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette to try to give myself some cheekbones. And I'm using my Morphe Bronzer Brush. That's an R2 brush. I think the R stands for Rose Gold. When you contour your face, ladies and gents, you're basically just creating shadows on your face to make it look like it's a more snatch than it actually is. Let's be honest, we weren't all blessed with a chiseled out face. Now I'm going in with my Morphe M438 brush, which is also in the Jaclyn Hill palette and trying to contour my nose. This is literally one of the hardest things for me because my nose is terrible. I broke it three times and it just doesn't ever want to work with me. So I have to do what I can to make it happen. And as you can see, it's a struggle. Now I'm going into my Benefit Precisely My Brow brow pencil and the number five and I'm gonna try and give myself some brows I was one of the people when it was cool to have really thin eyebrows I just plucked them I mean I went to town and now I have no brows at all so it's a struggle for me to do these brows because as you can see I have none and uh it's really nice to have thick luscious brows and well, I'm trying to give you guys the illusion that I do have those. And, yeah, I don't. So, that's what you're going to get right there. No worries, ladies and gents. I plan on doing a brow tutorial on my channel soon so you guys can see in depth how I draw my eyebrows in. And that's basically what I'm doing is drawing them in. Like I said, there are none, as you can see there, to really work with. So from day to day, my eyebrows are a serious thing. Some days they are together. Some days they're real far apart. Sometimes they're thin. Sometimes they're thick. It's a real struggle. But you have to work with what you're blessed with. And that is what it is for me. At the end of the day, nobody's perfect. And you can only do so much. So take my brows as they are. <laughs> I never realized how long it took me to do my brows until this tutorial, so I apologize. For the next one, I will take a little bit more out. Now I'm going to go into my ColourPop Yes Please palette and try to create an eye look. I'm wanting to do something really bright and pretty today, so I'm going into the color... I'm not exactly sure what color it is. I think I'm going into the color Louie. And just putting that all in my crease. And then I'm going to use the color. Is that a pinky color? I think it's the color Champs that I'm using. And I'm also putting that in my crease as well to try to deepen it up a little bit on both sides. It's crazy because all of the color names are on the back of the palette. So every time I try to use the color, I have to look at the back, but then realize that the where they're placed is where they are. So it's just not that easy for me. So now I'm going into the color, two colors. I'm going to go into the color Butter Cake and then the color Mischief and try to deepen out that crease a little bit more and try to create some definition on my eye. And just keep going in there with windshield wiper motions and try to deepen out that crease and kind of give myself a little bit more definition in my eye because my eye is actually, I have tiny eyes, so I'm trying to make them a little bit bigger. We'll elude for them to look a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna go into my NYX Glitter Primer, and it's basically a base that you put down on your eye that will help the color that you use, especially if it's glitters or anything that's a shift color, to really stand out and pop. Now when you use this primer, you only wanna use a small amount on your lid. Because if you use too much and you have too thick of a layer, it could actually get really goopy and just look really thick on your lid when you lay down the shadow. And it will also make it really hard to work with. Now I'm going to go in with the color GNO in the palette and just place that on the inner corner all the way to almost the outer corner of my lid. And I'm going to do this on 
both sides. At first, I was really just patting it in. And at, once I actually laid it down, then I kind of started doing swiping motions. And like I said, I'm going to do that on both sides. So what I'm doing with the shadow is I'm putting it down on my lid and doing what's called a cut crease. So I'm taking the bottom part of my lid and separating it from the top part. Now I'm going to go back into the Yes Please palette and pick the color Spoiled. And I'm going to put that all over the innermost part of my lid. And basically blend that in to the other colors that I've already laid down on my lid. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to go into my NYX Epic Ink Liner in the color Black. And I'm going to try and do a bit of a winged liner here on my lid. And putting winged eyeliner on camera is quite challenging. So as you can see there, I am having issues with how I lay the pen down to get the ink on my lid. And I'm actually not the best at this as it is, so it's quite the challenge for me. But I'm making it work for you guys. This seems like the longest thing to do on camera because I'm trying to do it and make it look good, but I'm also trying to make it so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. Now I'm going to go into my Milani Liquid Eye Pencil in black and tight line my upper lids. Basically what tight lining is, is you're putting color on the upper part of your lid between your eye and your actual lashes, and it cancels out the color, the pink that shows through and almost looks like a gap between your eye and your lashes. And you really don't wanna see that gap when you put your lashes on, you wanna have it completely be black. Now I'm gonna put my nude liner down on my lower tear duct to open up my eye. If you use a nude liner on the bottom of your lid, it gives you the appearance of being more awake. Now I'm gonna go back into the palette and put Butter Cake and Mischief on my lower lash line and try to tie in the bottom lid to the top lid. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe E18 brush and my Maybelline Master Chrome metallic highlighter in molten gold and Put some highlight on the inner corner of my eye and kind of underneath and then right at the top, right under the edge of my brow. And then I'm going to go into my Tarte Parte blush and use my Morphe, I believe it's an M530 brush and put that all over my cheeks. I'm going to go back into my highlighter and put some on the tip of my nose and then up the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to highlight... I'm using the M, I think it's 437 brush to highlight my cheekbones, of course, on both sides. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my cupid's bow, and then I'm going to put some on my chin, and then my forehead. And then I'm going to spray myself with my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And then I'm going to go in with my Rimmel coffee bean lip liner you guys i just love this lip liner and there's so many awesome colors and they're just so buttery and easy to put on they just glide right on your lips now that i have my lip liner down i'm gonna go in with my lipstick and i'm using the ColourPop liquid metallic lipstick in the color nine to five for some reason the logo wipes off really easily. I'm not exactly sure what it is about ColourPop, but anyone that I have, the logo has wiped off of the actual container. But I really love these lipsticks. They're beautiful and I love them. Now I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This stuff is life. I absolutely love this stuff. Well, this is the end of the video, guys. If you like what you saw, please comment and subscribe and, of course, like the video. And until then, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.